Okay, so this is a toe kick for the other side. As you can see, I had to take a little more out, a little long here, because on this side it hits the brake, whatever you call it. And then took out, you know, this right here. This is still here, but around here, kind of go in. And then I took a little off here where that brake thing is. So I'll, I'll put this on, and then over here, this the hole that goes in right here, if you want to bring it to here's a little hole here. It's two and a half inches. If you just come straight back from here, two and a half inches, and then two and a quarter from right from the pre drilled hole here. Now, they may change these to where they work better, but this first set it had a hole here and a hole here. I'm just going to go here and then two and three quarters out to get this one. Mm. So I'll go ahead and throw this on real quick and then come back in a second. Okay, so now I've got this in. You can see it clears. Back in here, it's pretty close to that where it's grooved a little. Fits in there pretty good that way. Got this screw tightened down in here. So this is all tightened down now. You can see right here how I clean this up and really notched it back to where it'll go in there as far as possible and down here to put to put in these screws I had to you know, put a little hole here to get this one in that one's in went in pretty easy now when when you're punching these other holes if you're not sure about just drilling them um, one thing you can do is just take a little pick you know stick it through the plastic like so and you can just sit there and go like this and work it through and see where it lines up so then you know exactly where to drill or you can come from the other side push it through and, and I always go a little bit to like the high side so that if I drill the hole I'm like coming in like this and pulling down on the plastic so it sucks it in as far as you can so I'll go ahead and get these all put in okay so I've got this the rivets in I put one in the board and then these ones back in. You can kind of see how how far off they are. And they get a little tighter as they move forward. And this one here is just barely the old holes right there. So you can't really see it, but get an idea. <laughs> and then I trim the trim the plastic back here so this hole's open. To the tube up in there. So that's pretty much it. The only thing left is I'm gonna rivet down across these which I'll put one in here and then pretty much one on every cross cross tube along the bottom there and then get these these ones in the support that I took out put some of those back in get it in there nice and solid and then it's just a matter of coming back and putting in the studs where you want them and get the side panels on get everything fit and tucked in nice and pretty much it